Hey guys, welcome back, Kitty Cats. It is me, the Vegan Kitty, and I'm back today with a mutt bang and a food reaction. Okay. Um. So today I will be eating the Waba Grill. I'm not sure if you guys heard of the Waba Grill before, but I think they're located in. Only in California, I think. Southern California. If I forget. Not sure. But let's see what I have. Okay, I have my napkins. I have Waba sauce. That's their sauce. And I think that's everything. And let's see. What do I have here? Ooh, that looks good. Um, I'll open up everything and then I'll show you what I have. Okay, so. I have a veggie bowl. That's my veggie bowl. That's some um, avocado. Um, seaton with the uh, it's like a teriyaki waba sauce that's their sauce it's a teriyaki sauce and I have um, broccoli and carrots with uh, brown rice that's what I'm having and then here's extra seaton I have to put some sauce on it there's no sauce and then I have green onions to go on top love 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 green onions mm. And have extra for when I get down to the bottom. Okay. Um, I am having, I have water to drink along with, one minute, with Stella Rose uh, green apple. Then I have a slice of green apple in there, if you guys can see it. It just enhances that that um, the apple flavor. Tastes really good. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I hope I do not need scissors. Oh, good. Okay. This is extra sauce. I'm going to pour it on the meat. I don't know. Can you guys see? You want to see my food? I hope you can see it. So let me give it a taste. Let you guys get a see the texture. It has a um, it looks real. It's a texture. Of it. It's a good texture. Let me say that. Mmm. It's good. I like the sauce on it. This is, uh, yeah, it's a teriyaki sauce. This has a sweet flavor to it. Pretty good. Mmm. Then I have avocado. I absolutely love, love, love avocado. Mmm. Let me taste the um, the broccoli and carrot. Mmm. -hmm. It all tastes good. Um, I even think I see cabbage. Yeah, there's cabbage. Um. Satan. Mm. Mm -mm. Hair somewhere. Okay, there it is. Hm. You guys know I have some cute news to report.
Guess who's getting a makeover? <laughs> Says Minnie Mouse is getting a makeover, you guys. She's going to be wearing a, um, a blue polka dot suit by a designer named, um, what was that designer name? McCarthy. McCartney. Um, from Paris. And her purpose is for, um, it was for, um, it was for two dates. She's getting a makeover for International Women's Day. And, um, the 30th anniversary of Disney in Paris. So girlfriend is making a statement as an independent woman. They're trying to make a statement for her. They said the new um, for the millennials. For years they make him Miss Minnie, an independent woman. That's the um, statement they want to make. But she's going to have the hair bow still. I'm going to show you guys a picture of it. This is too cute. So she's wearing like slacks and a, and a blazer. <laughs> and two running. I wonder why they didn't give Mickey a one was for International Women's Day. But damn, can Mickey get out of those shorts? Give him a pair of pants for Father's Day, perhaps? <laughs> Do they have any pants? No. Something, I don't know. <laughs> this is so good. I don't think I'm going to need that extra meat. Mm. But it's really filling, I know that. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. I would go there again. Definitely. And I go there and I'm in mass. I have it delivered. Mm. So I think she, uh, Minnie, will still be wearing her um, iconic <coughs> red dress with polka dots, but it's just um, a statement. I guess it's just for a day, for a day, or for those two days. Because I love the little red dress and heels with the uh, bow on them. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Uh oh, that lipstick is young. Oh, I ate a lot out of here. I must have been really, really hungry. Mm. So you guys, um, comment down below. Let me know what you think of Minnie's um new little transformation our girl is becoming an independent woman you know I said go ahead Minnie but I like the dress on her it's just cute on her mm.
Okay. I'm, I'm full and I just keep on eating. Get yeah, one more in. Mm. Rest of that for later. I'll put that up. And be back with a food reaction. See you soon. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys, I'm back. Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm back with another food reaction. In honor of Black History Month, um, I will be honoring Christopher Emmanuel Paul, which is, he's known by Chris Paul or CP3. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you a little bit about, uh, about Chris Paul. Christopher Paul is a professional basketball player who now a, who's now a point guard for uh, Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul is an investor of Koya Protein Drink. Chris switched to a vegan diet in 2019 at the age of 34 when he was with Oklahoma City Thunder. The switch to, uh, the switch to a vegan diet, he said it helped him return to the NBA All-Star Game for the first time in four seasons. Wow. Okay, Chris Paul invested in Koya to make plant-based nutrition more accessible um, to all. Chris, let me see, Chris and his team is working hard to get Koya vending machines to get Koya vending machines on HBCU colleges and university campuses. His plan is to go to go on college campuses and to try and educate kids. The younger someone is exposed to plant-based options, the better, he said. Paul has also, um, has also seen major benefits in his life since he personally ad adopted a plant-based lifestyle. Okay, so that's a little bit about uh, Chris Paul, CP3. This is his drinks. Uh, Okay, so I have a cinnamon horchata, a cinnamon horchata, and then over here I have a caramel cream. Okay, and then let's see, I'm going to start with the, the cinnamon horchata first. Oh, let me read the ingredients to you. Okay, so... There is a, a total of uh, 190 calories, 7 grams of fat, uh, saturated fat 0 0.5 grams, trans fat 0, uh, cholesterol 0 cholesterol, sodium 240 milligrams of uh, sodium, total carbohydrates 13 grams, dietary fiber 7 grams, total sugar four grams and then um, protein 18 grams okay so let's give this one a taste and also it's dairy free non GMO soy free okay. let's give that a taste Okay, I can taste the cinnamon in it, but um, I'm getting a little aftertaste. I don't know if that's like a sweetener or something I'm tasting. I'm not too crazy about the aftertaste for the, uh, the cinnamon horcha. So, that's that one. Yes, that aftertaste. That's um, not too good. Okay, and then next up is the caramel cream. Okay, so this one has 200 milligrams of, uh, I mean 200 calories. It, um, 200 calories, 
It has um, 13 grams of saturated fat, trans fat zero, cholesterol zero, sodium 290, um, total carbohydrate 7 grams, dietary fiber 5 grams, um, sugar, 1 gram of sugar, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> Protein, 12 grams of protein in this one. Again, this is a caramel cream. All right, let me test this one out. Oh, this one's really good. I don't get an aftertaste for this one. This one's good. Mmm. I like that. And I'm going to drink the rest of this for breakfast tomorrow morning. So that's pretty good. I like that one. But that cinnamon, um, the taste is good. It's the aftertaste for me. I don't like the aftertaste. Not too um, crazy about it at all. Uh -oh. Okay guys, that conclude my food reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my uh, mud bang from Waba Grill and my um, food reaction for uh, Chris Paul's Koya drink. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention the Koya, um, the caramel cream. This is a keto. That one is a, see that? That's a keto one. And then <clears throat> quail. And this one just says protein. We got to give you guys a close up. Okay, that concludes my review and my mud bang. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Over here. Positive vibes. Until the next time, kitties. See you.